Hey everyone, it's me, the owner of this channel. So, this video was first requested in the comment section and after publishing a poll about it, I got some interesting results. Surprisingly enough, the overwhelming majority, meaning all 24 votes, said yes, you all supported the creation of a tutorial video. So bear with me here because there are a lot of instructions you need to follow. So first of all, you're gonna have to open Chrome and download a specific application. It's called uh, Updoid. Search for Updoid Free Download. It's, uh, it's the first link where it's the official website. Updoid, unlike Lucky Potter, is not dangerous. You can install it with no fear and you can easily uninstall it soon after. Uh, now by clicking this orange button the site is gonna show you two necessary steps in order to download the app which I'm gonna show you right now because apparently it's not written in English uh, basically what it says here is you need to search in the settings for the install of unknown apps and turn it on uh, basically giving access to updates to be downloaded it's, it's that it's right there now, uh, most devices give you the options of allowed or not allowed, but my device specifically splits the apps individually, like this, you got Chrome Drive and Gmail individually, most devices have that all in one setting. Uh, if your device is normal, just turn the thing on, but in the rare case your device looks like mine, give access only for, only for Google, it's this one only for Google Chrome or whatever kind of Google you're using. With that out of the way, you can download it, download Updoid freely, as you can see here. Of course, I have downloaded already, so I, I don't have to, I don't have to download it again. I downloaded it, now I'm officially installing it, and you can see that it's here. Of course, it's gonna show you this uh, introduction. By opening it, you can easily realize that it looks like some version of Play Store, some different version of Play Store, and that's exactly what it is. Uh, Updoid used to work for hacking games, but I don't think it does anymore. I think now it's more on the legal side of, of the internet. So what you're gonna do is search for head soccer in uh, in Updoid. Now this this version the, this head soccer version you see here is basically the current one, where uh, the last characters are Tanzania and Starbase. You can see it here, latest version. But right next to this, you can see a button uh, which says other versions. In other versions, it's basically, uh, it includes all versions the game had, basically. So you can see where we are going with this. Now there's a tricky part, like you can see this version says 1.0, basically the first head soccer version ever, from Korea to Spain, you know. Though, it's not really, it's not the first version. It's actually, it's not only that, the version 1.1, the version 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, all those versions, they're not exactly uh, real. If you download them, you'll see that the last characters are basically Ireland, China, and Greece, in all of them. And it's clear, because you can see it from the date that they were posted in May of 2013, where the last characters were Greece, China, and Ireland but for some reason they decided to call it uh, 1.4 or 1.6, 1.7. Now, personally, I have uh, downloaded this one, 1.8.1. It says open because that's a version I have. It may sound like it's 1.8, but it's it's really not. It's just the uh, Ireland, China and Greece being the last characters. It's, it's confusing, I know, but the latest versions meaning all the updates after Greece are, are pretty normal. It's not like this chaotic mess. The other updates are real. 
like the 2.3 is really the version with Austria, Thailand and South Africa. The version 3.0 is the update where Headcap arrives and Pluto becomes the last character and so on. You get the point. So you probably wish to download an older Head Soccer version. Now that depends on which one you want. You have plenty of options, but there is no version with uh, characters lower than the update with uh, Greece, China and Ireland. So since I have already downloaded Head Soccer, of course the version where Greece is the last character, I'm planning to, to update it and at the leagues probably reach Denmark. The update with Denmark is the last character. I mean, it's not the leagues that win the game, not even Head Cup. It's actually the characters that proceeded with Head Cup, but that's a story for another time. So since I have 1.8, Point one, I suppose the 2.0 is the update I'm looking for. I mean, update 2.0 was uh, with the leagues and uh, the zombie New Zealand and Sweden. And then uh, update 2.1 was the one where Australia, Israel and uh, Denmark arrived. I suppose I'm going with uh, 2.1.1. Honestly, I'm not sure, but I suppose it's that one. There's no problem if, uh, let's say, uh, Romania, Luxembourg and Colombia are also in this update. We can still uninstall it by just going back to the update I had previously, being 1.8, download it again and just remove the unwanted characters, quote-unquote. So anyway, I'm going with this one. 2.1.1 actually wait it's there is 2.1.2 which is a version where Israel uh, Denmark and Australia are the last characters but it includes some fixed glitches so I suppose it will be more beneficial if I downloaded this one the update next to that one is basically 2.2 uh, and 2.2 means uh, Luxembourg, Colombia and Romania are in. At least that's how it should be because it, it's kind of confusing. As I said before, there are no 1.0, 1.1 versions. Those are all fake. It's just Greece, uh, China and Ireland at the end. But anyway, I'm going with the, the fixed one, the 2.1.2. Uh, I'm hoping for the best. It requires access photos, media and files on your device. Yeah, thank you very much. That's very kind of you watching me do it. As you can see here, it, um, it basically wants again that preview setting with uh, this one, allow unknown sources. Now you may uh, you might rightfully say, uh, why would I want to activate the allowance of unknown sources? And that's correct. But basically, after downloading the Head Soccer version and up to it, you can just close it. You can just do. You can just deactivate it again. Now I'll just activate up to it, just to download the Head Soccer version, and then I'm, I'm gonna close it again. There it is, a uh, 2.1 update I'm looking for, 2.1.2. Do you want to install an update to the existing application? Your existing data will not be lost. This tab can prove that if you're like me, owning a very old version, you can update your game a little higher from the previous edition without fearing the loss of your data. You know, in case you downloaded an old version, you are not satisfied with, you can still bring some characters in, like what I currently do. Of course, I'm not dissatisfied with uh, 1.6, but uh, things would be better if I brought the leagues in, honestly. It's clear that such a tab will not appear at your screen, considering you do not have HeadSocket downloaded. Just a reminder, if you already have HeadSocket downloaded in its current form, with Tenzin and Starbase, and you have made huge progress without hacks 
Uh, you have uh, unlocked very difficult characters like, uh, I don't know, Hong Kong. I insist that you stay with it. Don't try anything on this tutorial because you're gonna lose everything. I understand how much you've gone through making these challenges. Perhaps it's not worth throwing all of your progress into the basket. The fact is that you can't have two head soccer versions on the same device. You might need to use a different one if you want to own the old head soccer. I have the latest version of head soccer in my phone and this is a different device where I have the old head soccer basically. All right, let's let's see. Actually, before that, I'm going to the settings and deactivate the installation of unknown apps. Now it's better. Okay, we can see that the head soccer logo is smaller, which means the leagues are now in. They are locked, of course. Uh, I'm gonna check if the iCloud appeared because the iCloud did not exist before. All right, there is no. There's no iCloud. iCloud, I don't exactly remember when iCloud came in Head Soccer, but it, it wasn't available back then. Even though all the languages were very, very interesting. Let's see now. All right, we have the same progress as before. And the last characters are, all right, it's Denmark, Australia, and Israel. Yeah, basically I just updated Head Soccer and you probably have just downloaded the old Head Soccer. Before you leave now, it's important that you listen to the last part. There's one more thing you gotta know before leaving and it's about Play Store. So basically, uh, Play Store has a, a specific set which uh, basically updates all the apps of your device automatically. So you're gonna have to deactivate that, okay? By going to settings, the last selection, and over there to the auto update apps. As you can see, I have already deactivated it. Don't auto-update apps. That's uh, that's basically what you have to do. Now, you may be wondering, uh, why do I have to do that? So, the reason you do that is because if you don't do that, you will just uh, wake up one day, uh, probably five days after downloading your Head Soccer old version, and it will be just the current version it will update itself automatically and you will just have the the current head soccer version so in order to avoid having that problem you have to stop the automatic uh, updating of your apps which also means that you have to open a play store uh, regularly and uh, go there my apps and games as you can see there are uh, some apps i have there like youtube google uh, YouTube Music or even uh, the Android system, which all require update. So you'll have to go there uh, weekly or like uh, every three days to basically check up how many of your applications need uh, to be updated and of course start updating them. It's necessary for your device to update its, uh, its applications in order to be glitching less or to generally function better. And since you have deactivated the automatic uh, update of uh, your applications, you'll have to do it yourself weekly. Um, I know it's, it's a minor problem, but it needs to be taken care of. I mean, it's the only way you can keep a uh, head soccer on its uh, old version and enjoy the game. So I suppose that's all. Now I'm waiting for all the, the apps to be updated. If you're wondering, I suppose you can delete uh, Updo it now. You can also turn off the installing unknown app setting we did previously. You don't have to worry. Updo it and Head Soccer will still be working even by turning this thing off. I'm personally doing it for reasons of safety. Now you can just easily delete Updo it and redownload it if you ever happen to need it. You can uh, download it if you want to, I suppose, update your own head soccer. You're free to do with, with it whatever you want. Of course, you'll have to redo the thing with the installing of unknown apps. That's necessary basically for uh, every application in uh, Updoit and generally from applications you download from the internet, meaning outside of Play Store. 
so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was clear. I hope I made myself clear. I'll be willing to, to answer any of your questions in the comments because uh, I feel I might have missed something. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.